I'm Shatina, and this is Star Stuff. Help desk, who's calling, please? Hey, good morning, this is Mr. Flores. I'm loving Star Stuff, but I just have one question. How do I decide what my student needs? How do I make it happen? And is there some paperwork to do? Now that sounds like three questions to me. Let's break it down. First you ask, how do you know what the student needs? Through trial and error, observations, data collections, and formative assessments. You know if the student regularly benefits from using an accessibility feature. Here's a reminder of the accessibility features. Be careful, designated supports have a different process. A decision-making committee looks at the qualification criteria. Those committees could be an R504, an LPAC, an RTI, or student support teams that make and document decisions. Here's a reminder of the designated supports. Remember, there are four that TEA has to approve to be used on the test. Next, you wanted to know, how do you make it happen? Check with your campus testing coordinator. They will have a system to gather individual student information on accessibility features and the designated supports. And your last question was, is there some paperwork to do? Nah. Of course there's paperwork, there always is paperwork. It varies based on the student's program. The paperwork gets completed as a part of the decision-making committee meetings. Keep your data in order and be ready to share student needs with the committee. Don't let documentation scare you away. The planning, observation, and the paperwork are worth it. That's it. I hope I've answered all your questions, Mr. Flores. Thank you. For more tips on accessibility and classroom accommodations, check out our Region 13's Accommodation Central website at acentral.education. Good luck and keep teaching.